that I can't this hang is, anywhere. This is fucking huge. He's huge, and I have nowhere to put him, so, like, he's hanging out here in the garage for an hour right now that it's cool, but I'm actually going to take it to the archery place that we went to. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to mount it up there, because he's just so big, man. It's like, huge. yeah, there's no... Is it heavy? Ah, mm -hmm. not really. No, it's, it's usually, like, a... It's like a... Um, like a styrofoam um, insert. Mm. So, but they actually, the only thing that's that's real about this, it's the, the hide and the horns. So what they do is, you know, they'll, they'll buy the, the form and then you send this to a tannery, they'll clean it, mm -hmm. uh, make it look the way that it does, like really, really good. And then they'll mount it on um, and then they'll paint this on. Like this is, this is not the real nose, oh, but they, wow. they made it seem where it's natural. Man. Yeah, so they'll do that's that's how you know when somebody's really good at taxidermy is when you're able to tell uh, how realistic it looks, yeah, yeah, sure. and then the eyes as well they're fake, um, but you know they're able to insert them and clean them up and they can look shiny and if you can see you know they keep the eyelashes, wow. you know see so they add all that stuff, they add stuff like this like this is somewhere where she was probably fighting, mm -hmm. so that's like a scar. Um, so they're able to keep that. They're able to preserve, you know, the horns where they were fighting, where they were peeling off, and just give it a natural look. That is crazy. Man. Yeah. So it's it's an art form, and it it is. It's definitely um, <laughs> it takes a lot of patience. And um, well, where did you get this thing? I shot this in East Texas. Um, I went on a hunt with a buddy of mine, and um, I know we had these just walking around in East Texas. We have them everywhere. I mean. The cool thing about Texas is we can, you can have any animal in Texas from a giraffe to a rhino to anything. Well, not a rhino. You can't shoot a rhino. Yeah. But zebras, all that stuff, we can have them here in Texas. Um, we can go and hunt them. So um, my thing was I wanted to hunt this animal with my bow. And I was, I was lucky enough to get within 35 yards on a day that was really windy. Couldn't really pick up our scent or hear our tracks. And we got super close to it. I mean, these animals will charge you. This animal was about 1,500 pounds. That's how big it was. So you imagine this animal coming at you and hitting you with these sharp horns. Yeah, you're you're done. done. You're gone. Yeah. So we got within 35 yards. I was able to pull my bow back, let that arrow fly, and took one shot. And you know, she, she was done with a matter of seconds. They're both the same thing. Just trying to... Wow. Fill them up. <laughs> Crazy, man. Yeah. So these are... Uh... It's we a... we got to make a video about like every single one of these things. Yeah. You know what I mean? People will go nuts. Yeah. Um, are any of these like bad? Like illegal or something? No. Oh, okay, just no. ask. No, 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 no. I mean, you know, and it's not only there, it's... <laughs> There's, there's more. <laughs> Jeez, the yeah. You're a collector. Yeah. And you know what? One of the things that I do a lot is I build my own guns. Um, mm. I, I love building my own ARs and stuff like that. Like, And right now I have these these two slots are open because I, um, I sent them off to get some work done to them. Um, whether it be stifling, paint jobs, stuff like that. Um, so they're off to... They're off somewhere to get their work done, so see like this light left on this one. Um, and they're doing um, so what they're doing on the on the slide on that one I'll show you real quick. Um So this has a slight work done, so you're able to put a sight on it. Now that one didn't have it, so I send it off and somebody's gonna do the cut on, on the top of the slide mm -hmm. to allow me to put a, you know a little sight on it. So that's what I'm doing with both of those. So they went off to to do that. Once they come back, they're gonna go out again because I'm gonna do a lot of more stuff on it. Like the stipling's gonna change. We're gonna do a lot more stuff to be able to grip it a little better and, and do more stuff with it. So what do you say to someone that tells you that nobody needs this many guns? What do you say to that? <laughs> I really don't care what they say. It's my right. Um, and, and you know, I mean. In a way, I am a collector, uh, but a lot of these guns are used for hunting. Uh, a lot of these guys, the guns are used for um, teaching new hunters or new shooters uh, how to get in touch. Like, for example, this gun has never been shot, but I bought this gun for my nephew. 
You know, he's, he's coming up on being 10 years old. This is a 22 uh, lever action, and this is like the best gun for kids to, to feel comfortable with because there's no recoil. It's real easy to, to use. You know, all you do is crank here. Um, there's really no save, so you got to be very careful with them and tell them, you know, once you pull that, it's going to go off. And it's just a very, very good teaching weapon because they start paying attention and they know these things are real. And I bought two of these for my nephews. Um, so when they're old enough, this is going to be their first gun. Um, you know, you know, they can take it out to the shooting range, do whatever they want. We can, um, you know, when we have property, we can ride around and, you know, shoot squirrels and stuff like that. And, and cooking, this is the other one. So, I mean, these are very, very... Um, they have its purpose, man. A lot of people think that, you know, you have a lot of guns for no reason, but every single gun that I have here has either helped somebody learn how to shoot or has been used to go hunting. Um, so, you know, pe people say whatever they want to say, but it, it's 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 kind of the same thing as collecting shoes, man. Uh, not, not all shoes are the same. It's the same thing with guns. Not all guns are the same. You're going to have some that... You like better than others. Some, some maybe I don't know that you like the trigger on one. You, you like mm -hmm. the capacity in another. Um, there's just so many different things, and so many different companies make a great product that you just can't have one. You know what I mean? You have to go out there and, and buy what you enjoy. And I enjoy every single gun that I own. I've fired every single gun that I own in here. Um, wow. um, so, I mean, people are gonna have their opinions. You know, they think that. Me owning too many guns, it's bad, but when I buy a gun from a company, you know, this gun was made by an individual that works there and gets paid by them. So the more we exercise the right and buy more guns and then, or whatever product you like, you're essentially helping your economy because you're spending the money to make sure that business keeps, you know, doing business and they are paying their employees. So like, we all have a part in it, so. Um, and as an individual, man, like, a lot of people blame the guns. Uh, the guns don't do anything. I mean, as you can see, they sit here. Mm -hmm. They're not shooting up anybody. They're not doing illegal stuff. It's the person behind it. At the end of the day, you know, we talk about it so much, but it is a tool. And it's up to you how you use it. Um, I have multiple guns. They've never committed a crime. They've never done anything wrong. It's, it's, it's really up to me how I utilize these tools, mm -hmm. whether it be recreation or whether it be hunting, um, whether it be teaching people, they all serve its purpose. And how you use them, it's ultimately, it's ultimately up to you how you're gonna want to use these products. Um, you know, and unfortunately, we do have people out there that that mean to cause other harm and, and mean bad, and they're gonna use it for that agenda. And, and there's nothing that we can do. Once somebody's made up their mind, there's nothing that we can do. No background, none of that, none of that stuff is gonna stop them if they wanna do something like that. And, and it's, it's unfortunate because it makes every other gun look bad, but nobody ever really accuses the person of doing it, which is, 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 is what should be. If you're using a gun, or a hammer or a knife for for a wrong purpose that's ultimately on the person not not the tool mm -hmm. um so you know when people say stuff like that i try to educate people and tell them you know what i use them for what their purpose are and one why i love just having a bunch of different guns you know I'm, i may just grab something for bird hunting one for pig hunting one for deer hunting um some to go to the shooting range it's just one for concealment carry is just there's just so many things you can do man and, and i think it's ignorant of people to say you know you have too many guns if you can afford it but why not so oh, yeah yeah these are my babies <laughs> that's awesome yeah and then like yeah you have you have your custom stuff like a lot of my buddies all say i'm the real deadpool you know <laughs> but so you get stuff like this that has a red uh, deadpool um theme on it and uh, what I like about this one that the guy did for me, the barrel says crispy on it. So every time it shoots, you can yeah. kind of see it there, yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you start getting into custom stuff like this. and you know, I don't know. There's guns for everything. This one's like, this one's so small, you know, you can actually load it. You go to the grocery store, 
you don't want to carry, you throw it in your pocket, and now you're armed, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there are just so many, so many different guns for so many different things. Like, like this one, this is another 22 that I've used to teach my nieces and nephews how to shoot because no recoil, it, it doesn't jump all over the place, and it's, it's a very smooth um, gun. And it's got a little hammer on the back, so it makes it easier for them to load pull the trigger and get familiar with it and uh, you know there's another 22 as well that it's a little different um, but again no recoil doesn't jump all over the place and, and it serves its purpose a teaching purpose and I've shot a lot of stuff with this whether it be squirrels rabbits and stuff that you know we go to different ranches and you see you know you want a squirrel or they have too many rabbits and you go shoot them up and then cook them up and this helps preserve a lot of the meat when you shoot them with a 22. Hmm. So there, there's a, there's a gun for everything, man. Um, and I just really enjoy. Them. I, I like owning different guns. I don't. I'm not a fan of just one company. So, and this, I mean, I, <laughs> I got a few more guns in my Brownsville home as well. And then you know the guns that are inside the house that are. That I know where they're at. <laughs> so I don't know. I if somebody asked me the other day how many guns I own. I I don't know. I've never counted them all. So. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're they're awesome, man. And you know, this is these are like a bunch of different guns, and then like you know, you, you have your 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 typical ARs and stuff like that. I, I'm a big fan of ARs, man. Like, I got I love my ARs. Man. So this whole rack here is dedicated to to ARs um, and you have every calorie you can think of 300 blackout 556 I got a 338 uh, federal a 300 win mag there's a 33 La pool in there that's a, a AR version um, where's the other one I have a 65 Grendel uh, 65 Creedmoor um, so there's Bunch of different calibers in here that uh, uh, that I love in the AR platform, and obviously a couple more handguns. Um, I'm a big fan of 1911s. That's always been my thing, um, just because of the of the history behind them and, and what they represent to our country. And so I've always I've always loved loved collecting 1911s. So I have a bunch of different 1911s in here um, from a bunch of different companies and. You know, they're all different, like I think this one's, which one's this one? Uh, this is called the Fly Girl that, uh, I believe this is all the ordinance that made this one, yep. Um, this is auto ordinance, sorry. Um, and they did a theme on the Fly Girls of the, of the um, Air Force pilots back in World War II that used to draw up with the pen girls on their planes and stuff. So I thought that was very cool. And I'm a big, big, uh, uh, World War II fan, uh, every, every memorabilia of there that I, I own a bunch of it, so these are cool. Um, this is another one that I really like. This is probably in the top five of my favorite guns. This is the Case Harden. They I actually took it in and did this job on it, um, which is through heat and and fire and whatnot. And it's just it's unique, man. It's it's all different, so I just love them. <laughs> I don't think I've ever shot this one. <laughs> uh, so you, you got a little bit of different stuff. And then this one, uh, I partnered up with uh, Vegas Revolver, uh, Vegas Finest Revolver. And we did what's called the Christmas Signature Edition. Um, what did they do on this one? They were able to... Uh, They put my uh, logo on the cylinder, mm -hmm. and then that's my actual signature. But they were able to do it on there, and then it says "Crispy Signature Edition," cool. and it says "Big Fucking Revolver" on the front. It's a forty-five seventy. This is what they used to use back then to um, shoot buffalo with. Yeah, and then you know it's got the combat infantry badge on the side. And, this is another gun that I've never shot because it kicks like, <laughs> it kicks like hell. Damn. But yeah, it's cool to have. Mm -hmm. There's, 
There's a bunch of other guns that came out into market that I just love, 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 love that I don't own yet, but I will. <laughs> and then, you know, you have your bolt actions over here. Um, for hunting, 308 by Kimber. Um, I bought this one because they support the boot campaign. It helps a lot of guys do a lot of awesome stuff um, and get back to normal or, you know, or help them with whatever they got going on in their lives. Um, so... I do own a lot of bull actions as well, so when people are like, oh, well, you know, you don't even have any hunting rifles. It's like, actually, I do. Just a little bit of everything. Like I said, every rifle in here serves its purpose, and it does, I use them for everything. I mean, every rifle in here has, at one point or another, taking uh, an animal that I've hunted. So. Now, there's a few that I haven't shot, just because I just recently got them, uh, but... I'm gonna take him with me to go hunting. That is awesome. Yeah. So, so there's no such thing as too many guns. <laughs> Maybe down the road I'll need another one of these over here. <laughs> yeah, three might do it. Right, I think three. Uh, Miss Crispy's gonna definitely be like, all right, we need we need to do something. You have to get rid of something. <laughs> Um, and yeah, and then, you know, all the ammo, all the stuff that I keep in here, it's all here, you know, coolers, um, just everyday things that I use, man. Um, my little bow set up, so I'll put them all out here. I've got my targets on the side of the house, got another target here, and just go and practice. Just get better at what I do. Just make sure that I make a good ethical shot, and the animal doesn't suffer too much, and it's quick and pain uh, painless, so that way, you know, it, it's what every hunter wants, man. You don't ever want the animal to suffer too much. You want it to be quick and, 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 and over with. That way you can uh, you know, recover your animal faster and it didn't suffer that much. So it's, it's a key thing to practice, practice, practice. And that's why I always keep all my bows here and then I have a few others that, that I use. And trying to be proficient at what I do. you got to have the right equipment.